in the cold of winter, I've spent a lot of time warming my heart with this little firebrand. We're closer than ever, but both of us certainly feel incomplete. Like me, Penny just doesn't seem right without Echo. There's something missing. While we've all learn to smile and carry on joyfully despite our loss, I know that a smile looks better when it's shared with a friend. And with Echo and Penny together, we all shared smiles with wonderful frequency. I realized that for all our sakes, including Echo, it was time to share a new smile. Which is why Emily and I drove up to Michigan last month to visit 11 very wiggly Ridgeback puppies. That's right, 11. Count them if you can, but count quick because these guys were all over the place. Even mom found them a bit overwhelming. When faced with such an onslaught of cuteness, you can't help but smile. And keep an eye out for someone trying to steal your camera. <laughs> we held the pups and their warmth close to us for a few quiet moments. But then, we put them down and simply reveled in witnessing their joyful cacophony. Few creatures can truly match a puppy's exuberance for the present moment. At the end of our visit, I scooped up a pup and was reminded of the first time I held Echo. And looking at Emily with the puppy in her arms again, well, that reminded me how the love of one dog can change the world. So, as we watched the batteries on these pups slowly wind down, I knew then we'd be back to bring one home. Or bring zero home, to be more specific. A four-legged reminder about the importance of starting again. The little guy even gave me a wink to remember him by. This past Monday, the cutest mob you'll ever see welcomed me back to Michigan. Puppy Zero was kind enough to shower me with some kisses. After Echo died, I kept his first blanket on a shelf in my office. During tough times, I'd hug it and breathe in his lingering scent. But blankets, like love, are meant to warm us, not sit on a shelf. So I tossed my treasure to the puppies. It was time for me to give Echo's love back to the world again. I brought Puppy Zero home wrapped in that blanket. And he spent most of this first week blanketed in the love of friends and family. Zero is a complete sweetheart with massive paws and a personable disposition. We still have so much to learn about the little guy, but this much is certain. He fits perfectly in our arms and in our hearts. Though, he still has to pass the sniff test from his older sister. It's been an interesting first week. Can't wait to share with you guys all the fun videos of these two getting to know each other. Though in the end, I'm pretty sure Penny's gonna find Zero's wrinkles as irresistible as we do. <laughs>